Hello, my name is Steve M. Nash. I'm the editor of selfhelpcollective.com and smnash.com. And I'd like to welcome you to December's Monthly Marvel. And I'd like to ask you a question before I discuss Bruce Lee's words. Do you ever make mistakes? Mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them. Bruce Lee. Mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them. Mistakes are always forgivable. There are many things, quote, wrong with this world or with the people that live in this world or with the way that we go through living. One of the things, and I'm going to call it a sort of um, a way of being closed, closed, not allowing yourself out, you close. One of the things is to Try to not make mistakes. Try to, above all, other, above, above anything else. So I'm not going to try this new experience. I'm not going to try a new relationship. I'm not going to try and get a promotion. I'm not going to try and um, make something new happen in my world. I'm not going to have, I'm not going to, have a child because I'm not ready. I won't be able to do it. I haven't got the perfect situation. I'm not earning enough money. And my relationship's not stable enough. Dot, dot, dot. I'm not going to try because I might not succeed. I'm not going to do this because I might make a mistake. I might fail. I might be noticed to have not. I might have, I, my mistakes might be noticed. I might get ridiculed, I might be laughed at, I might be hounded out of town. Sometimes when you make mistakes, people can be very unforgiving. Granted, you know, like infidelity in relationships, for, ex for example. I'm not saying make mistakes, I'm saying don't live your life with the prerogative of never making a mistake. I've got another quote, it's on, I've got a little sort of photo board. It's by Martha Collins, I think, or Martha Collins. If you can't make a mistake, you can't make anything. That, that's, that's right. So this is the other side of it, this is Bruce Lee saying, what does it say? I've got such a bad memory. Yeah, mistakes are always forgivable. If one has the courage to admit them. So courage is, this courage that he talks about, it's, it's I'm going to call it open. Hey, I did this. I, I made a mistake. I apologise. And, and it's, it's sort of like a self-awareness. It's knowing that you made a mistake. Either you understand why you did it, or you don't understand, but you, you, you say, I, I made a mistake. Now, if you justify, I did this because of that, or, or he made me do it, she made me do it, I, I, I would never normally do that. You know, if you kind of pretend that you didn't make the mistake, you, can, you sort of, you don't fully admit to it, then this is no good. Admit, acknowledge, put your hand up. Take the flack, if, if there is flack. Often, that type of openness, the flack is less. Depends who you're talking to, but it, but it doesn't really matter. What matters is to live your life in a way that says, I'm going to go for things. I'm going to do my best to not trample on people's toes, to, 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 to do things right. But if I make a mistake, 
I make a mistake. I'll admit it and then I'll move on. Does that make sense? What are you hearing? What is resonating for you when I say it's okay to make mistakes? It doesn't define you. It doesn't define me. I have had many relationships. I used to define myself as that. So I've had many failed relationships, in inverted commas. I don't know anything about relationships. What do I know? Somebody that's married, they know much, much more about relationships than I do because they've managed to keep in a relationship and I haven't. I know an awful lot about relationships. I've made many mistakes. I've made many of the same mistakes. So have the people I've been with. Right? That doesn't, that's not who I am. Just because you make a mistake once, twice, just, be keep, just because you keep on making the same mistake, that's not who you are. I know people who don't make relationship mistakes that I make. Either they just don't have relationships or they're too frightened to ask for what they want. The relationship is so comfortable that they don't want to rock the boat in revert commas. So they don't make any mistakes because they don't ask for what they want. So this is, I've switched on to relationships rather than mistakes, but um, I guess in my life that, if I was going to say, which box do you, have you made most mistakes in, Steve? It'd be relationships, that's why I'm saying it. I don't define myself by it. I just don't. Somebody asked me once, in curiosity, um, why I had never been married. And I think he was expecting me to have a cute answer, like, um, oh, you know, marriage is for suckers, or uh, I never met anybody that was good enough, or whatever. And I just said, in the moment, I don't know. Because <laughs> that was true. I didn't know. It just, it just hasn't happened. This is just not my journey. Again, mistakes are doing something in a way that other people might not have done them. Getting a different outcome. So you could have um, a one-year relationship that could be a huge, that could be fantastic, or it could be another failure. Oh, another another one-year relationship. What's wrong with you? Why can't you why can't you why can't you do this properly? But it's just this it's this comparing thing. So whatever whatever area of your life that you think that you get wrong, keep at it. Keep being gentle with yourself when, which you may do, it goes wrong again. Just be, be looser, be freer, be less bothered about the outcome and just try. And in the video I've recorded already in January, for January, play. Just play. Take it all less seriously. Play goof up, make mistakes, acknowledge when you make those mistakes, keep going, it's, it's a lovely way to live and it's a great example to set everybody in your life. So, mistakes are always forgivable. If one has the courage to admit them. Bruce Lee. Thank you for watching my video. Those few of you that do, thank you very much. I appreciate your eyeballs, your, your ears, and any movement of the spirit that occurs when you listen to me speaking. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you. And if you have any comments about mistakes you've made, mistakes you've seen me make, please share. 
It's interesting to, to see what we consider to be a mistake. It's interesting to see how we made a mistake and how much it still impacts us. It's also interesting to see how, oh yeah, I made that mistake, don't think about it anymore. That happens too. That's a much better way, isn't it? Oh yeah, I made a mistake. I spilled some milk. Uh, I didn't cry. No, I just mopped it up. Yeah. Oh yeah, I spilled some milk again a bit later on. I still didn't cry. I mopped it up. You know. Thank you, anyway. I ramble sometimes. Bye bye. Oh, just one last thing. I don't know if you noticed, right at the end of that video, something sort of changed. I, my, I, I was in a different sort of feeling. It was really weird. Just kind of got, hmm, just, I was a, a connection. And I'm not even talking to you, but I just got this connection, this sort of deeper feeling. It was lovely. It was really lovely. So I hope you noticed it. I, I felt it. Let's see if you noticed it. Oh, I've got to go now. The beeper. It's the next part of my life. I run a very tight regime. Hmm, that's a joke.